I had a boyfriend named Nick. He was a good guy. I loved and trusted him. We lived in a small town and recently graduated high school. Nick had already applied for college. He was a straight-A student, studied really hard, and was so passionate about his dream. He wanted to be a nurse. I really didn't know what I wanted to do next, so I decided to wait for next year's applications. Now, I was really proud of Nick and very supportive of his goals, but the thought of him moving to the city for college made me feel anxious. What if he met another girl? College girls are supposed to be really pretty. Or worse, what if he met someone in his class and they had a lot in common? I could just picture them, staying up late, working on a project together, their hands accidentally touching. I knew I was overthinking it, but I couldn't seem to stop myself. I didn't tell Nick any of this, of course. As far as he knew, I was cheering him on all the way. To make matters worse, Nick's father was traveling for business and wanted to take Nick with him. They would leave two weeks before college started and he'd be gone for a month. I offered to unpack his stuff and set up his dorm while he was away so he could jump straight into classes when he got back. So one morning, after Nick had left, I headed over to the college dorms. I hadn't slept well, so I was really tired and my hair just refused to behave. So I put on a hat, a hoodie, and some loose jeans. I didn't even have the energy for makeup. I managed to slip into the men's dorms unnoticed. I suppose that in my baggy clothes, I did look a bit like a guy. At Nick's room, I knocked in case his roommate was in. And when no one answered, I let myself in. I was just looking around when the door opened. It was the roommate, and he looked surprised to find a girl in his dorm. Hi, I said. I'm sorry to startle you. I'm Nick's girlfriend. I'm dropping off some of Nick's stuff. He introduced himself as Liam and offered me a cup of coffee, but I refused. He was very tall and handsome, and I began to seriously regret not putting makeup on that morning. I felt really awkward in my frumpy outfit as I continued to unpack Nick's things. A couple of times, I looked up and caught Liam's eyes. I don't know why, but I felt like he was staring at me. I decided I needed to leave as fast as possible. Over the next few days, I couldn't stop thinking of Liam. I knew it was wrong, but I wanted to see him again. The next time I went over with more of Nick's stuff, I put on some nice clothes and a bit of makeup. I knocked on the door, and when I didn't get a response, I opened it. To my surprise, Liam was in there sleeping like an angel. I couldn't help but stare at his handsome face and smile. Suddenly, his eyes fluttered open. Hi, he said, catching the sight of me. I forgot to ask for your name last time. I'm sorry, I said, feeling guilty. I didn't mean to wake you. That's okay, Liam said. I don't mind waking up to a beautiful face like yours. What? Was he flirting with me? I blushed and apologized again. I was just about to turn to leave when he said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I know we don't really know each other, but I couldn't help it. You look beautiful today. Oh my God, did he know I had been staring at him? Had he been pretending to sleep? This time when he offered me a coffee, I said yes. A couple of weeks later, my boyfriend returned and everything went back to normal. I didn't mention his roommate, though we became friends. I had Liam's phone number and we texted each other almost every day. I thought about him all the time and when I was alone, I missed him. Finally, one day, I couldn't take it anymore and I went over to the college with some food for Nick, hoping Liam would be there. I was in luck. Liam opened the door with a smile. Hey, what are you doing here? He asked. I brought some food for Nick, I said. Are you hungry? I made extra. It turned out Nick was in class, so Liam and I sat and ate and talked. He told me I was a great cook and that everything was delicious, and all I could think was, oh my god, I'm in love. He is so cute, I want to stay here with him. Suddenly the door opened and Nick walked in. I panicked and jumped out of my chair feeling guilty. He was surprised to see me. Hey Lisa, what are you doing here? He asked. I told him that I'd brought him some food, pointing to the table where Liam was clearly digging in. Your girlfriend is awesome, dude, he said. Man, she can really cook. I laughed nervously. Thanks, I said. Nick joined us, and we all sat there eating, and when we were done, I left immediately. Days went on. Nick was busy with his studies, and I was feeling lonely. I was confused about my feelings for Liam, so I didn't talk to him much either. Then one day, Liam texted me. 
asking if I wanted to meet for coffee. I wondered what he wanted to talk to me about. I imagined him confessing his love for me and asking me to break up with Nick. When I arrived at the coffee shop, Liam seemed nervous. It turned out he had a family problem and didn't want to share it with anyone else. I felt bad for him, but I was really glad he'd chosen to talk to me and ask for my advice. He really liked me. He wanted to share his personal issues with me. We sat there for hours and I went home with a smile on my face. I was falling more and more in love with him each time I saw him. But at the same time, I felt awful about Nick. He was a good guy. I decided I had to do the right thing and break up with him. I can't continue in this relationship anymore. When I got back home, I called Nick and told him that we needed to talk. The next day, I went over to his dorm, fully intending to break up with him. He hugged me as soon as he opened the door and told me that he missed me, which made me feel really bad. He invited me into the dorm, but I didn't want to have this conversation in front of Liam, so I asked him if we could go somewhere more private. He agreed. I'll just grab my jacket, he said. He stepped back from the open door and my jaw literally dropped. Liam was there, kissing another girl. My heart stopped beating. Who was this girl? I didn't understand what was happening. I just stood there feeling betrayed. Nick didn't seem to notice. Sorry to interrupt you guys, he said to them. I'm just going to grab my jacket and we'll head out. Liam said, no worries, take your time. He didn't even look at me. I went with Nick to a nearby coffee shop. I was so confused. I didn't know Liam had a girlfriend, I said to him. Yeah, he replied. They've only just started dating. I was completely lost. I thought Liam liked me. He texted me all the time, shared his family's secrets, and even flirted with me. I was so confused that I decided to postpone my breakup with Nick until I figured out the Liam situation. I couldn't sleep that night, so I decided to text Liam. What I really wanted to say was, I thought that you like me and I almost broke up with my boyfriend to be with you. But that sounded crazy, so instead I typed, what a cute girlfriend you have. Maybe we could go on a double date together and I could get to know her better. It took him a couple of minutes to text back, though it felt like ages. He simply wrote, yeah, sure, why not? I would love to. I felt like a bucket of ice had been thrown in my face. Had I imagined the whole thing? Was it all just in my head? The next day, I woke up and dressed in my most killer outfit. I knew I looked amazing, and I couldn't wait to see the look on Liam's face. The guys in the corridor of the dorm all eyed me and grinned. Liam doesn't know what's about to hit him, I thought to myself. When I entered the room, they both looked a bit stunned. Wow, Nick said. What's all this for? You look amazing, babe. I smiled at him and gave him a kiss, completely ignoring Liam. I always do, babe, I said. I'm just going to hit the shower, Nick said, grinning, and then we can grab dinner. He left the room, leaving Liam and me alone. He said, wow, you really look amazing. Yeah, I replied breezily, still not looking at him. I know. There was a moment of silence, and then Liam said, are you upset or something? Why are you talking to me like that? I told him everything was fine in the most careless tone I could muster, hoping it would just piss him off. But to my surprise, he just shrugged and said, Okay, I just thought you sounded a bit weird today, but whatever. That's it. I couldn't hold back anymore. Before I knew it, I was yelling at him. What is wrong with you? You flirted with me, shared all your family problems, but never mentioned that you have a girlfriend. You text me almost every day, and I almost broke up with my boyfriend because of you. And now you're acting like it's no big deal and saying that I'm the one who's being weird. He looked shocked. I thought we had something special too, he said. I have feelings for you. Seeing you with Nick all the time drives me insane. I didn't think you felt the same way, so I thought I should move on and start dating someone else. Words can't even describe how I felt. I flung myself into his arms and said, I really do like you. I was hoping you felt the same, and I was so insanely jealous when I saw you with that girl. And I kissed him. It felt so right kissing him. It was amazing until Nick returned, snapping us back into reality. What in the world is going on here? He exploded. We both looked at him shocked. For a few moments, we just all stared at each other confused. Then we sat down and I explained everything. My voice was shaking and I couldn't look him in the eyes. 
He was furious at both of us and he had every right to be. I felt awful, but people can't help who they like. Nick and I just weren't meant to be. Now Liam and I are a couple. We're so happy together. Nick is trying to get used to this. I feel so awkward whenever I bump into him. And it's not easy seeing his ex-girlfriend with his friend. I still feel bad for him, but at the same time, I'm glad that I'm with Liam. He's everything I wished for in a guy, and I never felt the way I feel now when I was with Nick. Next semester, Liam will move to another dorm, and it's kind of far away from Nick. I guess that will be better for all of us. What do you think of my story? Let me know in the comments down below.
until something better came along. Until something better, 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 better